Hello everybody, welcome back to Simulated Heaven and I've got an interesting game for you, Love Hotel. Basically this is a very small free game off of Dezura and basically you have to make a love hotel so it's a bit like, if you remember I played that game ages ago called Call Center Chaos. I suppose it, it's a bit like that but this time we're trying to make a love hotel not a call center so it's kind of cool. Okay, okay, let's have a go. So as you can see, this is my love hotel that I have right now. Um, all I have is I have, I think I have one cleaner and one bellhop. And I've got a cleaning cupboard. I have one room. That's about all I have. So the first thing I'm gonna do, oh, here comes a couple. So basically, you will see that couples will arrive and they will go into the love hotel rooms. It's kind of a really interesting idea for a game, isn't it, really? Okay, straight off the bat, I'm going to put a vending machine up here. Like so. Because you usually find that that's very popular, usually. So as you can see, we now have just under 20,000. So it's kind of hilarious that people go into the room and then the doors will close and you see all these hearts that appear out of the room. It's kind of hilarious. So I'm just thinking, what I might do, I'm going to add another floor, just like that. And then I'm going to add more rooms. I think we can fit, so we've got this missionary room for 2,000, spooning 3,500, or a tropical room for 50,000. Not much likelihood of me having that yet. Okay, look, I think the spooning one, no. Well, this, the spooning one will fit here. Actually, I'm going to put the spooning one up top. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put another missionary. Whoops. I'm gonna put another missionary there downstairs. So we've got three rooms now. So now what I'm gonna have to do is I'm gonna have to add. I'm gonna add another service, like another utility cupboard, maybe up here like this. So we've got two utility cupboards, and then I'm, I need to up the staff. I'm going to have two bellhops, maybe. Two bellhops, two cleaners, and one maintenance person. Okay, so that should be enough for now. Three rooms, and it's kind of hilarious. I mean, the graphics are obviously very, very retro style, but you can see after someone has been in the room it looks all all messed up it's kind of hilarious well I think we're, we actually we are actually earning some, earning some money here I think I think I think that we might need more cleaners you know our cleaners are not really very fast really are they yeah we have to restock things when things get low, we need to restock stuff. Whoops. You can inspect, you know, inspect people to see how, why, like if they're happy and stuff like that. Right. We seem to be doing alright. I think we can maybe have one more room. I think we don't have enough rooms really. Let's get one more room. Let's put one more of the missionary rooms up top there. There we go. So we have four rooms now. I might put... Uh, I'm going to wait until we get more variety of food. Oh, what's, it? what's that down there? No. Okay, so I need to wait till we get... Okay, we've got two stars. You can now build condom machines and balloon suites. What the hell? This is hilarious. This is so funny, man. 
Okay, so we can now build lots of stuff. Condom machine. Awesome. Just what we need, kids. There we go. I need to restock the food, the vending machine. It looks a bit empty. Look. Oh, and we also need to restock the cupboard here. There we go. We're not really earning a lot of money, kind of. We're hovering around the 11, 12,000 mark here. Oh, you know what? I think we need one. Oh, I think we have two bellhops, don't we? Yeah, I think we're okay with two bellhops, to be honest with you. Let me just check that. Yeah, we have two. I think we're okay. Okay, we just got over 12,000 now. Why did they go into the cleaning the cleaning cupboard? What? There are people that are that are actually going into the cleaning cupboard. That didn't look like that didn't look like a cleaner, did it? It looked like people. No, look, it was a couple. What? I thought it was a cleaning cupboard. What's going on? Okay. Whatever just happened, we need to restock it. Whoops. That was weird. <laughs> anyway. I mean, for a free game, this is really cool. It's free, man. It's a completely free game on Dezura. And of course, it's very basic, but it's got a real, a really cool retro feel to it. And it's kind of humorous, isn't it? Like, you know, this kind of thing is kind of humorous. Okay, so we got just over 13,000 in our, yeah, in the bank. Two stars. It seems to be quite slow to get to three stars. I'm wondering. 14,000 now, so I think I can add another floor, actually. Structure. Yeah. Oh, underground. You can build underground? Oh, wow. I didn't even know that. Anyway, I'm going to do Skyward. And then, yeah. So let me see here. Whoops, wrong one. We can't really have any vending machines yet. Okay. Oh, there's a, there's a balloon room. Okay. Let's let's try and build a balloon room up top here. We're kind of, that did kind of cost a lot of money. That looks hilarious, balloon room. We're like a clown. <laughs> That's funny, man. Right, so... Oh, we need to restock something here. Yep, restock. Whoa. Okay. So I think we might need to have another bellhop. I don't know. All the rooms seem to be relatively clean, don't they? They seem to be relatively clean, which is good. Well, we seem to be making money relatively quickly. We're already back up to 7,000. Like I said, most of the rooms look kind of clean, don't they? So, that's good. Right. Oh, it broke. Oh, no. Where's the maintenance guy? I did hire a maintenance guy, didn't I? One. There you go. I think he's fixing it for me. That's good. Maybe we need a... Well, I don't want to buy another vending machine, really. I want to wait until... It's kind of hilarious. Again, they've gone in the cupboard. Um, yeah. I'm going to wait until I can have a slightly more varied thing. You know? Right, I need to refill the condom machine. Now, I've got two utility cupboards. I think we're good, actually. We've been on two stars for a long time, to be fair. Right, no more food options. Okay. I think I can just add more rooms. No way are you that I can afford a tropical room. Okay. I'm going to build another, another balloon room. It's going to be a balloon floor. Lol. Okay. 
Do we need to get more bellhops? I think we're okay now. So this is our lovely love hotel. It's looking good. Yeah. <clears throat> well, I can see, yeah, that the bellhops seem to be doing their job. There always seems to be one waiting downstairs, which is good. Like, I, like I'm... I've said a number of times, it seems like that the rooms are staying relatively clean, they're not all dirty all of the time, you know, that it seems like the turnover is quite fast, quite good. Oops, I need to restock the cupboard again. Keep restock the cupboard, this one. Oh, both the cupboards need restocking, damn. Okay. What I'm thinking is I might have a floor underground, actually. I might do one floor underground, and then I can have a utility cupboard underground. But I would imagine that people won't want to stay in hotel rooms underground. Yeah, this kind of... The two-star thing it seems to be taking a long time. But we are making quite a lot of money, to be fair. But Yeah, the two-star thing is taking me a while. Why... Again, we need to restock too. I can see the food machine, because that's obviously the only food we have in the whole, the whole hotel. And like a love hotel, you can imagine everyone's going to be very hungry, because they're very busy, aren't they, you know? They're all very busy people. So they're not happy because there's no food, but there is food. I mean, surely you don't have to have a vending machine on every floor, surely. That would be kind of stupid, wouldn't it? I don't know. Anyway, who cares? Well, something broke. The condom machine has broke. That's not cool. Right. So, yeah. I think we can already. I'm gonna have a go at doing one underground. Look. Wow, look at that. 2,000. Oh, look, you can see a skeleton. That's funny. Okay, so. What I could do now is put a utility room here, put another vending machine. Here. Do you think people are actually wanna gonna wanna gonna wanna? Do you think people are actually gonna wanna stay underground? Probably not, but hey. Let's put some cheap rooms. No, hang on. Let's, let's put a couple of these rooms down here. Whoops, wrong one. There we go. So I think I'm I'm pretty sure we're gonna have to increase the in, the number of cleaners quite soon, because we've only got I think we've only got two cleaners. I don't know, we'll see. It's gonna be in, oh, what did I do there? No, that's wrong. I put two utility cupboards, no. I wasn't supposed to do that, damn it. I was supposed to do something entirely different. Oh well, okay, restock. I was not supposed to, right, hang on. I believe you can. I believe I can demolish it. Here we go. Here we go. My bad. I completely messed up. I'm supposed to have. Oh, that. Yeah, I think I know what happened. But I need a vending machine there, basically. There we go. We've been on the whole two-star thing for ages. Like seriously, ages. We're almost there though, we're almost at three stars. But yeah, it'd be interesting to see if people don't want to stay in our... Oh, I need to restock. If people don't want to stay in the in the underground room. Oh, the condom machine is out. Whoops. Oh, the food machine is out. This is out. So, you kind of... You kind of have to be quite busy. As you can imagine. Now... I, yeah, I have a feeling that people are not really using the ground, the basement floor rooms. 
it would appear. So that seems to be a bit of a no-no, doesn't it, really? Anyway, well, we are actually making quite a lot of money, aren't we? I, sp I suppose I need to just keep building upwards, maybe? Like that. Maybe put a balloon room in there, but it's going to be very expensive, isn't it? Right, we're not going to have a, we're not going to have a lot of money, is what I mean. Okay, we'll put a. Um, we kind of need a utility cover, don't we? Hang on. We probably need a utility cupboard up here, don't we? Because we don't have one on the floor below. And then we'll probably need a, a vending machine. Because there, there isn't one for two floors there, is there? And we'll maybe put a condom machine as well. Might as well, and then the floor above it we can just add purely rooms, right? Now surely I'm going to have to start increasing my level of uh, people who work here, like cleaners and stuff. But there is always a bellhop, you know, who is waiting still, so I don't know. It doesn't seem too bad. Okay, surely we need to restock something, don't we? Maybe. Not quite. Almost, but not quite. The food is nearly out. Okay, we're, all, we're already up to 7,000. Come on, three stars. We want to get three stars, man. We are not far off three stars now. Right, I reckon... Um, how hungry are they? How much are they going to eat? No, we still have a bit of food left. Because I don't really want to waste any any money by, you know, by doing it too early, by restocking too early. Lol, it is kind of funny. <laughs> uh, okay. Okay, screw it. After this guy, no. Okay, I was going to restock, but I'm waiting for the right opportunity. Yeah, actually a lot of the rooms are getting kind of busy. We're getting really close to three star now, guys. Really close to having three. Okay, that needs to be restocked. Don't see anything else. Basically, when something is flashing, that means it needs to be restocked. At three star, then I hope I get some interesting new items to use. That would be cool. I mean, already this is quite a large hotel, isn't it? Quite a large love hotel already. <laughs> right. Mm, I still think we're fine with only two cleaners. Right. Still look pretty alright to me. I'm just waiting here waiting for stuff that needs to be restocked. That needs to be restocked. Uh, the food, the vending machine there nearly needs to be restocked. The whole flashing thing helps a lot because, you know, you can imagine that with this this game you're going to get a lot. In the end it's going to be really big and the flashing thing helps a lot. Oops. See, you can obviously see when something needs to be refilled. Hey, we're getting really close to three stars, guys. We're making some serious money here. Okay, let's just restock that anyway, before we forget. Here we go. Come on. Three stars. I want my three stars, man. So my idea was not really that to do a let's play on, on this game, but just to do a 
a reasonable length video just to sh show you guys what the game is like. So we are three stars. You can now hire cooks and build dining rooms, kitchens and chocolate suites. Okay. So what, what I might do actually then. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. Ooh, look. 20,000 though for kitchen. 5,000 for a dining room. I might have a kitchen actually, to be fair. What I might do is I might try to build one floor down and put a kitchen in. Whoopsie. Whoopsie. Didn't mean to do that at all. Services, no, still the same. We can get a chocolate sweet, whatever that means. Staff, we can get a cook. Yeah, I think that'll be the best way. Okay, I, I imagine we've got lots of stuff to restock now, guys. Because I was kind of busy there. Yeah, look. Whoopsie, wrong thing. Damn. I just wasted loads of money by restocking the wrong thing. Whoopsie daisies. Oh well. That's life. Right, 20, nearly 23,000. Come on, we need to get a kitchen. Because then, if we get a kitchen, I believe that means people can order food from their room. Which would be kind of cool. Right, so let's try to build one floor underground again. Like so. And then we'll try and build a kitchen. Uh, we really won't have a lot of money, will we? Okay, let's put the kitchen there. And then let's hire a chef. We are right on the cusp of having no money, lol. Okay, so we should have a, sh a chef now. So what's the chef guy going to do? Is he going to is he going to come down to the kitchen? Let's have a look. Yeah, look, he's going to go in the kitchen. So I assume that means that people can order food and it can be sent to their room, which would be really cool. Because people seem to be hungry, as you, as you would imagine. So that's good. All that he's like frying up some. I mean, like even though this is a game which is you know obviously a retro style game. The graphics are really, really basic, but I don't know, it's, it is really cool, it's got a really cool vibe to it, you know, I mean, and it's awesome that the guys actually made this for free, I mean, that's insane, free, you know, but you don't get that much for free these days, do you, to be fair. Yeah, so we're certainly making some serious money, aren't we? I wonder if I need to hire another cook. People seem to be quite happy though. Don't they? Okay. Um, whoopsie. Let's restock. Restock. What needs... This needs to be restocked, not that. This restock. Uh, actually, I think that's all. Wow, we are making some serious coin, aren't we? Right, let's see. I'm wondering if I should employ two cooks, because we have a lot of room. So let's employ two cooks. Yeah, I think that will help a lot. And let's then build up another floor, like so. Uh, I, d I think on this floor we can have purely rooms because un the floor underneath has got a vendor machine, a utility room, so yeah. And it's like I keep on saying, the rooms don't seem to be very dirty. The, the turnover seems quite good with only two cleaners, so that's good. I'm quite happy with that. Okay, I wonder if I, wonder if I can buy a chocolate room. Ooh, just. I can just afford a chocolate room. Okay. There we go. Whatever that means. <laughs> Chocolate room, that's funny. 
there's like a chocolate fountain in there and stuff. So I think that means that this is as far as we can actually build up look. Because I see there's a green lip thing, if you know what I mean. So that would seem to suggest that's as far as we can build up with our hotel. I don't actually see that the cooks are sending food upstairs, but I imagine that's how it works, that they can somehow send food up. I don't know. Okay, we need to be... Oopsie, we need to... Oopsie! We need to be restocking stuff, because look at all this stuff. There's a lot of stuff here that needs to be restocked. And we're getting a bit low on the old money fund, aren't we, to be fair? Come on, let's make some more money. We're like... Oh, there you go. 4,000, okay. That feels a bit better. we got a busy hotel, haven't we? We have got a busy hotel, why? Yeah, we're doing alright. Has anyone been in the chocolate room yet? <laughs> Not sure. Oh, one of the vending machines is broken. That's not good. Well, I don't think I'm going to get to four stars in this particular video because, uh, yeah. Seems like it takes quite a while. But, yeah. I mean, it's it really is a fun game. I wouldn't say it's, you know, like it would take a few hours of your life for free. So, yeah. Oh, yeah, look. Someone has been in the chocolate room and there's like chocolate everywhere. That's hilarious. It definitely has a lot of, uh, of humour, this game, doesn't it? Right, let's, because I think that we can afford another room now. Let's get another chocolate room. Because the more expensive the rooms, the more expensive they are for people to rent. And then that's how you make more, more money, right? Oh, my goodness. Restock, man. The vending machine there needs to be restocked. Look, it's completely empty. Anything else? This one down here is almost empty, so let's just restock it before we forget. People are eating up a storm, aren't they? Yep, people in the chocolate room. <laughs> Maybe what I should do now as the last part of the video is I should try to save up enough to get the the other room, the most expensive room which is called a tropical room. I think there's another one that's more good. But it's 50,000 though, you know what? I don't think I can save up 50,000. I don't think that's going to happen anytime soon, is it? I mean, that's a lot coin right there, isn't it? Okay, so this video has been going for about half an hour almost now, so I think you guys have an idea what the game is like. I mean, it's like I said, if you want to waste a few hours of your life on a fun, free game, I mean, you can't ask for more than that. So yeah, I mean, I'm enjoying it. I would highly recommend it, that you check it out. I'll put a link in the description. Thank you for watching this video, and of course, as always, I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.